message, do us do or die. We gotta come out and get the job done. We still feel that we're capable of beating this team. We just gotta come out and do it. And we came in here 2 0. We really didn't want to go back home 2 2. And, and their backs are to the wall. We gotta expect a big uh, a big game for them on Tuesday, but yet we have to stand firm and, and, and uh, try to end it. have won three and they can play the eliminator tonight live from the united center in chicago it's game five of this best of seven series as the chicago bulls meet the new york knicks and hello again everyone i'm steve Casho. welcome to game time at chicago bulls playoff basketball here on sports channel well you know it's been a heck of a series thus far and we expect another great ball game tonight as the bulls try and advance to the eastern conference finals for the first time in three years. And the honors just keep on coming for the Chicago Bulls. Today, Tony Kukoc receives the NBA's sixth man award. He's the first Bulls player to be given the award in the history of the franchise. And unfortunately, while Tony is here tonight, he will not play as he continues to suffer from an injured back. And with us, as always, former Bull and four-time NBA All-Star Norm Van Leer. And I want to ask you, Norm, four games, the Bulls lead three games to one. What have you learned in the series thus far? Well, one thing for certain about this game, that's going to be tough, it's going to be physical, and normally close. At the same time, I think the Bulls, with their experience of getting a little offensive surge when they really need it, not that often, but when they need it, they've come uh, on top in the three of the four games. Is this too much, uh, too much of a lead for the Knicks to overcome? Is it too insurmountable, do you think? I mean, the Knicks would have to beat the Bulls three times in the next six days in order to eliminate them. Can that, can that happen? Well, all things are possible. That's why you play the game. But at the same time, I can't think of a team in this league that can beat the Bulls three straight games without any serious injury or someone in the personnel department being hurt. So I tell you right now, the Bulls, uh, you know, they're in command. They just have to go out and do the job. And it's going to be awfully tough, in my opinion, for New York to beat them three straight baskets. Well, let's hope they get it done tonight. Now time for our Pearl Vision view of the game. And for that, let's go over. Cross court, say hello to our play-by-play -play team. Here's Tommy Dore and Johnny Redker. Hi, guys. Okay. All right, thanks, Cash. And, John, you know, the thing you and I talked about is, uh, obviously, Tony did win the sixth man of the year award, and that's great. But he is out right now. He wasn't doing a great job when he was back in playing. His three-point shooting especially was off, John. But I think when you went to New York with the team, you expected somebody to step up, didn't you? Well, Tony gets the award because he's been brilliant all year. He was in a little bit of a slump in a couple games against the Knicks. But they went to New York. Game three, they were looking for somebody off the bench. They had to rotate a little bit because Tony wasn't there. Nobody really stepped up off that bench in a Bulls losing an overtime game, Tom. The next day on Sunday, everybody stepped up off the bench. Judd Bushler was three for three. Uh, Randy Brown was a, a terrific player. Bill Winnington hits in two baskets. So the bench really played big. We hope Tony can join him either next series, I hope now. Yeah, exactly, because we don't want another game in this one. John, now tonight, this will be an interesting matchup because you know New York is really going to come at the Bulls hard at the very start of the game and try and get momentum. And it's going to be, I think, the bench that plays a big role again tonight. Well, the bench will play a big role, but the Bulls Bulls did have that day off in between now, so they should be a little bit more rested. So the Chicago Bulls just about set to take on the New York Knicks, and uh, I tell you, it was, a, it was a great series so far. We'll see how it goes from here. Now for more on the series, Laura Oakman is standing by. Laura? 